University of California leaders, including at UC Davis, failed to investigate sexual harassment claims in a timely manner and handed out inconsistent discipline to staff and faculty. That, according to a new audit. To me, that's completely shocking. Laura Lopeman is in her fourth year at UC Davis and says the audit is a wake-up call. That dynamic is just too strong because they have so much power over you. They're in charge of everything. And so if people might just be scared that if they speak up, either nobody's going to believe them or listen. Among the audit's findings, UCs take five times longer to investigate tenured faculty compared to staff, and at Davis, only 11% of complaints were formally investigated, the lowest of any UC. We recommended to the Board of Regents that they establish uh, certain time frames that these investigations need to be conducted in. In the past 10 years, there have been 157 sexual assault complaints filed by students against faculty and staff here at UC Davis. Broken down, that means an average of nearly 16 complaints are filed every year. For something like that to, you know, be under wraps or not even hear about, it's really surprising. More and more people are coming forward and stuff and talking about their experiences, so I think that's probably why we're hearing more and more about the, this. In response, UC President Janet Napolitano agreed to implement the audit's recommendations, adding, UC has made recent significant improvements not yet in place during the period of CSA's review. Lopeman says while she hasn't experienced sex assault personally, the university has prepared her with the tools to handle it. If I ever saw myself in this situation, I know that I'd have a support system to be able to go reach out and get help. In Davis, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.